Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Like always, I'm Brian, and today I'm going to be showing off the BitPhoenix Pandora Icon Display, Chanley style. Stay tuned and I'll show you how it's done. Before we kick this off, I really want to say thank you again to BitPhoenix for trusting me with this and allowing me to do a content videos for them. This is, this is really an honor for me. And I also want to thank my boy, D-Money, Daniel Evans, I Walk With The Dead. He really helped me out by doing all the icons for me since I don't have Photoshop, and I really appreciate it. You guys should check him out. He's down in the description. Dude does great work, so if you have a YouTube channel, Twitch, Twitter, any of those, he can do great artwork. Check him out. Before you install the uh, icon display, you're, wanna, you're going to want to go to the BitPhoenix website, Go to the support tab under the Pandora, download the Pandora display app, and extract it. Choose the image you want on the screen. The images need to be 240 by 320 uh, JPEG or PNG files, and the ratio is 3 to 4, so just in case, it'll actually scale the photos, if I'm not mistaken, but really don't throw too many pixels into this poor thing. You don't want to overload it. Um, and then after that, it's just drag, drop, and go. Um, here, I'll give you guys a demo right now. Once you have the icon display plugged into a USB port on your motherboard and you've got the Pandora Display app RAR downloaded, you're going to want to extract the icon display to your desktop and then you're basically ready to go. Now for me, the icon display didn't turn on right away. All you have to do if that doesn't, have, if that doesn't work for you is you need to just press this button right in here and the icon display will come right on, well it won't come right on, but a couple seconds later it will come on. So right there, that's comparison of the, the JPEG to what comes out on the screen. Some of the other, th the other display it comes with is this. And that was it transitioning in real time. Here's another one. Here's uh, something I downloaded off the internet. This is actually probably going to be the name of my Pandora build. It's called Druck. Here's another big shout out for my uh, my buddy I Walk With The Dead. This is his logo and um, so I figured I better include him since he's the one that made all these for me. Here we have my double E insignia, my logo, whatever you want to call it. XFX, play hard probably one of my favorite AMD cards right now in the market. This build is actually going to be AMD themed, so uh, I can't really forget those guys. I had to throw in a couple of those icons as well. Especially to all my boys out at Red Team Plus. You know, those are my uh, some of my really good gaming buddies. You can't really leave them out. Here's just a plain AMD logo. You can pretty much put any picture on here you want. Red Team Plus. And that uh, brings us full loop back to the original icon that comes with it. I really do like this Pandora uh, icon display and it's going to be coming out in a lot of their newer cases that uh, you, trust me, you'll want to see when they come out. Anyway, this icon display is awesome. If they could just up it up a little bit, maybe so you could add a GIF in there or a GIF. Um, maybe if you could change it up so that you could display like temperatures, like CPU temperature or like let's say your water cooling, you can throw your water temperature on there, that would be an awesome option for the icon display. Once again, thank you very much BitPhoenix for giving me this case and allowing me to do this. Dan, you're the shit. Thank you for making me all the icons. They look great. And um, this was installing and trying out your BitPhoenix icon display, Chanley style. <laughs>